I saw him. Leah, I saw her son. He was here. Hello Star Wars fans, Adam the Star Wars Questioner here with a new video for you guys. Star Wars is filled with tragedy. People with good intentions falling into darkness. The stronger a person is, the more destructive that fall can be. Sometimes, a person's fall from grace doesn't lead to darkness, nor is it of their own doing, but the actions of others. One family seems unable to escape this tragic motif. This is the Skywalker bloodline. Shmi Skywalker is destroyed by Tuskus shortly after being freed. Anakin Skywalker, wanting the power to save people from dying, led to seduction to the dark side. Luke Skywalker lost his entire Jedi Order and it drove him into exile. Leia's entire political career is destroyed when her relationship with Darth Vader becomes known. So, of course, it seemed only natural and a matter of time before Ben Solo also became a victim of the forces of tragedy that stalks his family. Yet, what was the driving force behind his fall to the dark side? Leia was aware of a dark presence trying to influence Ben from even before his birth. And even though she later identified it as Snoke, at the time, she assumed it was something entirely different. Today, we shall examine three pieces of evidence on how Han and Leia's own actions may have set their son up to be seduced by the dark side. Not intentionally, of course, but the result is just the same. First, we shall explore The Force Awakens, our very first look to the post-Jedi canon. When Han and Leia meet up and talk about their son, they give a couple of hints to their son's fall to the dark side. It's too much Vader. That's why I wanted him to train with Luke. But I just never should have sent him away. That's when I lost him. From the very beginning, Ben had too much of Vader in him. Note, not Anakin Skywalker, but Darth Vader. This implies that he was a very angry child and his parents seemed unable to control him. The amount of effort they put into trying to help their son isn't known, but in the end, Leia sent him to Luke. She even says, I sent him away. And while this is most likely no more than the universal need of parents to blame themselves for their kids' with problems, what if she sent him to Luke against his will? This actually points to the idea that Ben didn't want to be a Jedi. Yes, perhaps he was an angry boy, but perhaps he never wanted to be a Jedi, but instead wanted to be like his mom and dad. So if this was the case, he resented being sent to, to his uncle, no matter how famous he was. This would have come off that his parents didn't want him and had rejected him. Second thing we shall explore is the book Bloodlines. In Bloodlines, Ben is already at Luke's academy, seeming to have settled into his role there. At least that's the indication that Leia gives, since the book is from her point of view. However, we learn that Han and Leia never told Ben of his bloodline, aka never told him that his grandfather was Darth Vader. We aren't sure what he was told about his grandfather, yet we do know that Leia was holding off telling him until she felt he was old enough to understand. Unfortunately, that was taken away from her when it was revealed in the Senate that she was the daughter of Darth Vader. It is quite possible that Ben, 24 years old, would have learned about his grandfather from this reveal and not from Leia, who was unable to tell him before the news hit the galaxy. How would this have looked to young Ben, following the same line of thought that his parents had sent him away against his will to the Academy? This would have looked like his parents had been hiding stuff from him. If they had hid his grandfather's identity, what else had they hidden from him? Already having problems with his folks, this would have confirmed they didn't trust him. We also learned that Han and Leia very rarely lived in the same place. This indicates that Han was an absentee father, who only seemed to get around to his family when he was in extreme need, either physically or sexually. Last, let us examine the Aftermath Trilogy. We learned that even before Ben's birth, Han was already antsy to get out and roam the galaxy. It was taking everything he had to stay in the same vicinity of his wife. Not that he didn't love her, but his free spirit didn't allow him to stay in a single place for too long. This would have been noticeable to his son growing up, that when he was around, he wanted to be gone and make Ben wonder why him and his mom weren't enough to keep his dad around. I'm Han Solo. I feel like he's the father you never had. He would have disappointed you. Also, Leia put her job first. She went to labor while the treaty was being signed between the Empire and the Republic. For three hours, she stood there silently, not to go into the hospital to take care of herself and her coming baby until the job was done. 
This would have been something that happened a lot, where Leia's job took priority over her family. With a father that was always gone, and a mother who put her job before her family, it would have made Ben angry as a child. Then to be sent away to an academy where he didn't want to go would have seemed like abandonment, as if even his mom didn't want him around. And all the while Snoke was there, whispering to Ben, listening to his problems, Snoke, by Han and Leia's own action and inaction, replaced them as his true parent figure, someone who was always there for him. Imagine how amazing it must have felt for Ben when he first met Snoke to realize he wasn't just a voice in his head, but a real person. To learn Snoke was real, and the feeling of acceptance he would have felt would have been a powerful incentive for Ben to abandon the Jedi way for the dark. There you guys have it. What do you think of this video and this theory? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't already to this channel. And as always, have a wonderful day and may the force be with you.